So I really like to sketch outside. That's what this whole channel is about. And I made these art boxes that you've seen me use in a lot of my videos. They have a place for my pencils. They have a place for the sketchbook or even a canvas. They move back and forth. They're really kind of nice. I'm going to show you how I made this box by making this little box in this video. The good news, you don't need a saw unless you want to. I'm calling this a sketch box. Some people call it a pochade box. And I cut this sketchbook in half because this 7x7 seven seven box doesn't fit the standard A5 or the standard 5 inch by 8 inch sketchbook. But obviously you don't have to cut your sketchbooks in half. I was just having some fun. You just choose a bigger box like this. Or a smaller sketchbook like this one. It's 6 inches. I love my bigger box because it fits a lot of stuff, but it's a little big for the bag that I like to take hiking, so I'm excited to try this small one, even if I can't fit everything in it, and the pencils have to fit on the diagonal. And you can buy these boxes on Amazon for fairly cheap. I'll put a link in the description for this and the other things I use. Probably the most important feature of these boxes are the hinges. Some people call them friction or tension hinges because you can adjust the tension of the hinge with a tightening screw and allows the hinge to open and stay in place in various positions. This allows you to use the lid as an easel. It's strong enough to hold some fairly heavy weight. These particular hinges came with screws, but I bought some smaller screws so that they didn't exceed the length or the thickness of the wood on this box. With that in mind, I removed the original hinges from the box. Using the original hinge holes as a guide, I marked where the new hinge holes should go and then simply screwed the new hinges into place. So my next favorite feature of this box are these D-rings that I'm using as strap mounts. These let me attach a shoulder strap to the box, which allows me to use the box without a table or an easel while standing. I'll demonstrate that in a bit. I swapped out the bigger screws for smaller ones on these two. If you're right-handed, make sure you mount the right ring to the front right of the box and the left ring to the back left of the box, like this. You'll want to swap this configuration if you're left-handed. This keeps the strap away from your dominant hand. You can see that I also drilled a hole in the bottom of this box. That's because I thought it would be nice to install a tripod mount too. To do this, I bought a standard 1 quarter inch T-nut, which is the standard size for all camera tripods. It was a little tall for the thin base of this box, so I'm using two rubber washers to act as a shim. I used Gorilla Glue to glue the rubber washers and the T-nut together and to the box. It worked pretty well. Just give it plenty time to dry. It wasn't really a good way to clamp it while it dried, so I used this nut and washer to tighten the T-nut down into the box. I'll remove it after it dries. I also took these two super strong magnets I had, and I glued one to this water cup and the other to the box. This is a really great way to keep your water from spilling inside the box. And now it's time to take this out for a test drive. I'm going to load up my water, my pens, my pencils and brushes, and my sketchbook. And I'm also going to attach an old camera strap using these carabiners. And now I'm back outside and I love that this box fits in my lumbar pack. You already saw in the intro how the tripod worked with the box and now I'm showing you how that strap works. It's not a bad way to go if you have to sketch while standing. If I were sitting, I could just hold it on my lap. Hiking or walking around with this small setup is nice. It's really nice for a quick sketch, even if it's just an old tree by a stream. I ended up using only this pen, but the box worked great as an easel. 
and I think this will be a lot of fun to use. Since this was just a quick experiment, I'm not going to finish this sketch out here. It's a little cold. If you want to see how I used my other box on a steering wheel tray where it's warm inside the car, check out this video here. Otherwise, I hope this gave you some good ideas and thanks for exploring art with me. Have fun.